This is Live for Love TV. Live for Love TV. Yes, I am. TV! Like, share, and subscribe. Live for Love TV. Oh. Welcome back, Live for Love TV. Today's the 30th day of the 10th month, 21st year of the 21st century. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Clocks go back today, tonight, in the UK from BST. To GMT, that's British Summer Time to Greenwich Mean Time. So, hope everyone's got that correct. By the time you see this, you'll be on a completely different time zone. Anyway, today we're going to talk about male and male, men, M A N, man, sorry, male, M A N, man. But male and female to me are a package deal. Some people may not agree with that, but that's how I see it, and that's how it's going to be for me till the day I leave this place. Male and female are a package deal. Made so, you could say, by God, by the universe, by the elements, or by whatever it is you believe in, whatever you, you know, your consciousness tells you. But to me, male and female are a package deal. But since I'm an MAN, I'm not a female, I'll speak from an MAN's perspective. So I make no apologies for speaking as a man, so um, females can hear this and like it, dislike it, and other men can hear this, like it or dislike it. That's your, that's your um, free will to do so. Now, what we have going around now in the world is a different type of concept of an MAN. A lot of people are talking about high value men, high value men. And um, you find a lot of females, you know, online, on the road, in the clubs, in the party, talking about they like high value men or high value man. Now, as far as I'm concerned, that's, you know, I think what they're saying when they talk about high value men, they're talking about men with bags of money. I don't know what other values they're actually talking about because I, as far as I can see, it's, it's really based on the amount of bank balance you have, the amount of cash you have, the amount of pull you have. But the truth is that when a child is born, and that child is a boy, as they would call him, a young boy. I've never seen any young. I don't see, when I had my son, I didn't see a boy, I saw a man. And when I see uh, what people call a young boy, who's about, I don't know, shoot, not even up to, my, up to my knees, I see a man. The only person I ever call a boy is someone who's fully grown and refuses to take their manhood in check. That's who I'd call a boy. I don't call anybody else a boy. Everyone else is a man of some description to me. Now, the reason I'm bringing that, I'm bringing that up and saying that like that is because there are a lot of men who feel they don't have a lot of pull, a lot of cash, and that maybe females insult them or push them back or make them feel like they, they, they're less than a man. Well, you need to know today that you are a man. It doesn't matter if a man has got a billion dollars or one dollar. You are an MAN, and an MAN is priceless. You are priceless. You rate above anything created by any MAN, M-E-N. Any men or men that have created anything, whether it's gold, silver, diamonds, they can't create an MAN, no matter what they do. So you're priceless. You need to know that you're priceless. And when you speak to a female, she needs to know that you're priceless because you know you're an MAN. Remember this, don't let them tell you you're a good man, a righteous man, a wise man, an intelligent man, a bad man, a gone man, a wicked man. Any word they put before the MAN and you accept it, you instantly find yourself into trouble, in problems because that definition is going to be the undoing of you. When people say that, if people say to me that I'm a good man, I say that's what you say. As far as I'm concerned, I'm an MAN. And an MAN speaks for itself. 
I don't need any title before my name. No money man, no rich man, no wise man, no intelligent man. That's other people's description of a MAN. But when a man is a man, there's nothing greater than that man. Doesn't matter what he has. You can take a man with a billion dollars and a man with one dollar and put them on the same plane, going in the same, to the same destination. And females can be on that plane. And everybody wants to be with the, you know, the billionaire man. They want to be around him. But when the plane starts to shake and shudder and starts to feel like it's just going down and starts to lose height and thing, you start to see who is a real MAN and who is something in, for, in front of an MAN, like a money man or you know, a so-called intelligent man or a strong man. A man is a man is a man is a man. There's nothing greater than a man. That's the reason why when the boy's child is born, we say we have a boy child, we have a man child. Because the potential is there, the mystery is there, the power is there. Everything is in the MAN. There's nothing, as I say, there's nothing greater. There can be nothing greater than an MAN from a man's perspective. There's nothing greater. So when you get this high value man right now, there are a lot of females out there who say they want a high value man. That high value man, let's say he earns 100,000 US dollars, 200, 300, 400,000 US dollars. How is it that this high value man, while he has his wife and he's so high valued and so many women after him, why is the man who polishes his car giving his wife such a good time when he's at work or when he's on, when he's on holiday? Why is the gardener taking care of his, his girlfriend or his wife? Why is it that the guy who has almost no potential whether he's in Hackney, Crenshaw, Chicago, able to get close to his wife and treat her almost as at will and the way he wants to treat her, even rough if he feels so. Why is it? If he's such a high-value man, how could someone who he would call a low-value man are, is able to do that to his wife, to his girlfriend, to whoever? Well, the reason is because you can't put anything before an MAN. Once you start to put something before the MAN, you devalue the MAN. Don't let anybody fool you about that. I don't care how much money the person is making on the internet telling you that this is high value men and you need to do this and you need to do that. That's a game. They're playing a game. They know they're playing a game. It's just a game. It's a game that, you know, people like to play and there are a lot of games out there. This is just another one of those games. But a man is a man is a man. And when you walk into a room with a so-called high value man who dresses well, got all the, all the degrees and all that thing, you walk into that room and you look in his eye and you're an MAN, he knows you're an MAN. And if he's not an MAN, he's gonna feel very uncomfortable, very, very uncomfortable. There are some things that an MAN has to accept. And one of those things is that his demise or his, I shouldn't call it his demise, his death, is always inches away from his life. Very, very close, yeah? so. You have to, he has to, he knows this, he's aware of this, and it's not something he fears. It doesn't mean that no fears come in an MAN's mind, that no time he ever thinks of, uh, you know, the fact that he may not be here or whatever. But that's never anything that controls him, never anything that worries him. He doesn't have to be bad or dangerous or, or violent or aggressive. He just needs to know that when it comes to death, that's part of being a man. That is what it is. And when you've, when you've gone through that fear, that fearlessness, and come out the other side, you can call yourself an MAN. And when you are an MAN, it doesn't matter. No high value man, no money man, no whatever. They can't hold a candle to an, a, a true man. And that doesn't mean you need to be poor to be a man. You could be a billionaire man. You could be a billionaire, you know, and still be an MAN. It doesn't matter how much money. Money doesn't come into what a man is. A man is a man is a man. I'm going to say it, and I'm going to let all the men know that you're a man. And if you see any females that try to belittle your manhood, just step round them. Step round them. Believe me, step round them. And if there's any men out there who've got bags and bags of money, you know, I don't care what they are. They, you know, some kind of rapper. You know, and they're trying to make other people feel less than a man because they've got money. Those are not men. They're not men. They're faking it. They'll be found out. They are faking it because you can't belittle an MAN. It's impossible. Once he's born a man and he walks as a man and he talks as a man and he is a man, 
no amount of money that anybody has can belittle somebody else. But when you don't know what a man is, you haven't gone through the fearlessness to become a true man, anybody can say anything, anybody can allude to anything, anybody can pretend that they've got something that you don't have. They have nothing that you don't have. Nothing at all. And as I said before, it's amazing how many of these guys in the hood can get close to women who are with high value men. It's amazing. Even in the days of, of slavery and the men on the plantation were able to get close to the wives of many of these slave owners. The, the wife used to look out at these men doing their work in the field. And when, when, when the master was gone, her husband was gone, she sli she'd slip one of these Negroes in. Why would she do that? If there was something greater than an MAN and she had that, why would she do something like that? Because there is nothing greater. Because once you're born it and you know what it is and you're able to stand up straight and your spine is erect and you know who you are and you know your time is finite, not infinite, but finite as a man. You've got nothing to fear. You live as a man and anybody who sees you or hears you or gets to know you will know that you're a man. So anybody who's feeling a little bit down because they've not got the best job or that situation isn't good or they're living in a place where you know, it's, it's not the best place that they're living in or they, you know, they're, not, they're just not doing as well as they would like to be doing. Just remember you're a man. That's all you have to do to come out of any situation. I don't care if you're depressed, feeling down, whatever. Just remember you're a man. You know, there's a woman called Louise Hay who does mirror work. Uh, she used to do mirror work where she, you know, talks to mirrors to make yourself feel good. That can be done. But all you have to do, I'd, I suggest, go in front of a mirror, take all your clothes off. If you're a man, and just stand there and look at yourself and say, I'm a man. What is there greater than a man? There's nothing. You know, if you go and dig up bones for 2,000 years ago, just dig up any bone in 2,000 years ago, look at the History Channel or one of these things, dig up bones for 2,000 years ago, and you're going to see a man. And when you see that skeleton of a man, it tells you nothing about that man, about how powerful the world says he was at that time. All it says is this was an MAN and he lived probably 2,000 years ago. Because that's all you have to be. There is something to being a man. There is mystery to being a man. But your word is powerful. Your word is strong. Your word is true. You, you speak how you feel and what you know is to be true. And no one can, people can laugh and joke and giggle and all that kind of stuff. But remember, they're doing that because they feel insecure within themselves. These same people are gigging and laughing and, and joking when, you, when they see you and say you're not quite up to the manhood that they think you should be. These are the very same people that will turn around and pretend that they were always your friends when things slightly change for you. They'll pretend that they never did the things that, that they, they were doing. And they have to do that because they're playing a game. They're not real. So this was a, a, a little bit of a conversation about MAN because I, I'm living in a world these days where... It seems that the devaluation of, of man is taking a toll on so many people, not just people from our community, from all communities, from all over the planet. And people are doing things that they know they shouldn't be doing to get money just to be a man. That's what people do. People go out there and they rob and they steal and they kill and they rob banks and they, you know, they scam and they do all of, and all they're doing is they just want to be a man. They want to be a respected man. But you don't need to do any of those things because you are a man. You've just forgotten that you were a man. You've forgotten. If you knew that you were a man and understood what a man is, you'd realize that no man has more power than you. Because the power comes with who you are. And this is not, uh, as I said, I see male, female as a package. I'm just speaking because I'm a man. I've never been a female. Women should speak their peace and their truth for themselves because their power is there. No one can take that from them. They have serious power as females, as women. They also need to know that. But I'm not going to speak that because that's not my, my place to speak. But I can speak as a man and I'm speaking to men. And what I'm saying now, women know, most women probably know anyway. They're probably thinking, oh, what's he saying? You know, I, I know that. You know, I know you do. I know you do because you recognize men or man before anybody else does. In fact, without you, probably there could be no MAN because we get a lot of our understanding from who we are from 
females. So that was Live for Love TV. I hope you enjoyed that. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you back as soon as.